Tailwind is a collection of predefined classes, so how does it manage class priorities? A short answer is the three Tailwind directives we set in the index.css file. They declare three layers which work as three markers, giving classes different priority levels. The declaration order is vital. You must declare the base layer first. The component and utility layers must be declared in the second and third place. Base layer classes have the lowest priority, and utility layer classes have the highest one. Under the JIT mode, you can set a fourth layer, which is named Variance. Classes from this layer have the highest priority, but you will rarely need this layer. The first three layers are already enough. Due to the cascading nature of CSS, the order in which classes are defined in a style sheet is very important. A class can only override its predecessors. We go back to the root component file and add a p tag. Then we give it two classes. We name the first class red and the second one blue. By the way, the assignment order here does not matter. For example, we make a copy of the p tag. In the copied p tag, we switch the order of the two classes. We put the blue class first. We haven't defined the red and blue classes yet, so they inherit the style set by the preflight. Next, we define the red and blue classes. We define the red class first. We set a bigger font size. Then we set the text color to red. Now the red class has overridden the preflight styles. Both p tags are now red. We make a copy of the red class and switch red to blue. This time both p tags have become blue. The blue class is defined behind the red class, so it has a higher priority. If we switch the order, then the red class will have a higher priority. We can see both p tags are now red. What happens if we add a Tailwind class to the p tag? In the first p tag, we add a text green class from Tailwind. We can see the first p tag has become green. This proves inline Tailwind classes have a higher priority than our own ones. By the way, Tailwind classes added via the Apply Directive work the same as native CSS properties. The Apply Directive takes CSS properties from Tailwind classes and merges them into our own classes or selectors. Let's prove this. We recreate the blue and red classes using Tailwind classes. We can see the result is the same as before. The first p tag is still green and the second one still red. In summary, pre-flight classes have the lowest priority. Inline Tailwind classes override our own classes. So how does Tailwind manage priority levels? In the index.css file, we were told to set three Tailwind directives to declare three layers. We are also told that the order of these three layers is very important. The base layer must be declared first and the utilities layer last. These three layers help Tailwind place classes in the final style sheet. In the end, all classes used in our projects will be injected into one style sheet. Due to the cascading nature of CSS, the location of a class in a style sheet is very important. A lower location means a higher priority. Base layer classes will be injected into the upper section of the style sheet. Classes from the utilities layer will be injected into the lower section, and those from the components layer will be placed in the middle. This means base layer classes have the lowest priority and those from the utilities layer have the highest one. A utility class can override a base class and a component class. Pre-flight classes are injected into the base layer. If we remove the base layer, page elements will fall back to the default HTML element style. Currently, the component layer is empty. Removing it won't make a difference. For inline Tailwind classes to have the highest priority, they must be injected into the utility layer. Let's prove this. We delete the utilities layer. We can see the logo image has moved to the left side of the browser window. The first p tag is now red. This is because all inline Tailwind classes have been removed from the final style sheet. If we add another inline Tailwind class, it won't work. For inline Tailwind classes to work, we must declare the utilities layer.